Okay, today in this lesson, I will explain the reactivity order of alkene, alkene, and alkyne. For this, I will take the example of ethane, ethene, and ethyne. So, number one thing that we should understand that the reactivity order of alkene, alkene, and alkyne is different in the different type of reaction. Okay, if I start with the electrophilic addition reaction, for the electrophilic addition reaction, alkenes are most reactive. Second number, alkynes are reactive, and and when we talk about the alkene, they are the least reactive. Okay, if, if I want to explain this thing, why the alkenes are most reactive and why the alkenes are, so we have to focus on their structures. First, uh, let us focus on the structure of alkene. In alkene, you can see there uh, every bond is single covalent bond, as well as you can say every bond is sigma bond. So when there is no pi bonds, then there is no possibility of the addition reaction. In alkene, you can say the substitution reaction may occur, but addition reaction is not possible. So that is the reason we can say the al alkenes are least reactive, even they are very, very inert. Okay, when we compare alkene with alkene, what is the difference in alkene? Alkene have sigma bonds, but it has also a one pi bond. Because of one pi bond, it becomes more reactive toward the addition reaction, specifically electrophilic addition reaction. Why? Why we, we call that uh, specifically electrophilic addition reaction? Because electrophile carry positive charge and these pi bond or pi electron attack on electrophile and get to give the electrophilic addition reaction. Okay. And similarly, if we compare the alkene with alkyne, so what is the special thing in alkyne? Alkynes have one sigma bond carbon carbon. But there are two pi bonds. So with respect to that, we can say that alkyne should be more reactive as compared to alkene because it has two pi bonds. But practically, this is not the case. Practically, alkenes are more reactive than alkane and they are more reactive than alkyne also. So what is the reason why, why even the alkynes have two pi bonds? It is less reactive toward electrophilic addition reaction as compared to alkene. The reason is in between the bond length. When we compare the bond length of alkane, the bond length of alkane carbon carbon bond is 153.5 picometer. When we compare it uh, in carbon carbon double bond, it reduced to 133.9. But in carbon carbon triple bond, the bond length becomes 120.3. So what happens? Because the bond is very short, this bond is very short. And so because of shortness of the bond, the availability of pi electron or pi bond become reduces. So when there are two pi bonds, but they are not available for the electrophilic addition reaction. So that is the reason we can clearly say in electrophilic addition reaction, what is the order that alkenes are the most reactive and the second number we can say alkyne are reactive and alkane are the least reactive, even they are not reactive at all for the addition reaction. Okay. Now when we talk about second type of reaction, that is also similar to this. So I will call this thing as the hydrogenation, addition of hydrogen. So for the addition of hydrogen, this order changes. For this, now you can see alkynes are more reactive than alkene. We can give the alkynes at the first number to end. Why? What is the reason now here? Remember that we are talking about the hydrogen. Hydrogen is the smallest atom and it can adjust very easily in between very short bond length. So that is the reason the bond length, the short bond length doesn't change the reactivity of hydrogenation or addition of hydrogen. So that is the reason you can say the order of hydrogenation is uh, number one is alkyne, number two is alkene and number three is alkane. Okay, now I will discuss the reactivity order of acid base reaction. The reactivity of order of acid base reaction is that, that alkynes are mostly reactive than alkene and alkane. That what happens when alkyne react with a strong base? Right now I have taken the example of acetylene react with strong base. It forms very stable or you can say a stable alkaline ion. Why it forms a very stable alkaline ion? Remember that in alkyne we have sp hybridized carbon. So sp hybridized carbon give us a stable conjugate base. Okay, how you will understand that thing? Let's focus on the structures of different alkene, alkene and alkyne. In alkene, the carbon is sp3 hybridized having 25% of S character. And in alkene, the carbon is sp2 hybridized having 33.3% of S character. And when we talk about Alkyne, alkyne are uh, in alkyne the carbon atom is sp hybridized having 50% of s character. Okay, remember that when s character is high, the orbital will have low energy.
why the orbital will have low energy if you just remember the s orbital uh, have lower energy as compared to p orbital so right now uh, if i say uh, a pair of electron this pair of electron is in sp hybridized orbital so now this pair of electron will be more stable so you will be needing a greater amount of energy to remove that electron or maybe if you want to break down this thing so that would be easier to removal of h plus ion instead of removal of this bond or breaking of sorry sorry breaking of this bond so if we use a strong base so what will happen it easily dissociate h plus ion so that is the reason we can say that acetylene or alkyne are acidic in nature but remember that i am i am talking about the alkyne which have uh, h attached to them they show acidic property and they are mostly reactive so in the end we can clearly say the acid in acid based reactions the alkynes are mostly reactive than alkene and alkane thank you